hey y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're interested in seeing what i made for this week then just keep on watching i'm working with these tumbling tower game blocks today and i'm just separating all the blocks putting them into a square and this will be the base to my lamp and I'm going to use my wood glue to glue them all together. So now that I'm done gluing the base together, now I'm working on building the center tube. So now that I have my 10 rows, I'm going to take one block, glue it to the top center of these blocks until I glued 10 pieces down. Then I'm going to go back to the three pieces with the 10 rows and keep repeating the same steps until I reach my desired height. For this next step, I'm just gluing the blocks around the perimeter of my lampshade.
Okay, so we all sat now and I have the water bottle underneath the blocks just to keep it as straight as possible since the glue is not fully dry. And at first I wanted to spray paint this gold, but I looked at it and I didn't like it. So that's why I am re-spray painting it with my black semi-gloss spray paint. Okay, so after spray painting my lamp gold, then respray painting it black for the black spray paint to not fully cover my lamp. That is why I am now using this acrylic paint that I purchased from Michaels. And this is in the color ebony black. And I will be covering the entire lampshade and also the base of the lamp as well. purchased these 10 inch wood pieces from the Dollar Tree and the first thing I'm going to do is peel the stickers off the back. Now I'm gluing all the pieces together with my wood glue. I'm using these wood pieces to help stabilize the base to my lamp. Since the lamp shade is a bit heavier than the base, it does not stand up straight the way it should. So these should help stabilize it. I'm using these clamps just to hold my wood pieces together until they dry. I have four wood pieces total here, but I'm gonna glue two together to make two long pieces. I'm going to use that same acrylic paint to cover both of my wooden pieces. I'm decorating my lampshade with these rectangular mirror tiles and I'm using my E6000 glue to glue them on. I'm also going to use these square mirror tiles to decorate my lampshade as well.
cut up a Dollar Tree foam board into these small pieces and I use my black acrylic paint to cover up the white sides. I'm using my E6000 glue and my hot glue to glue these small pieces to the centers of my blocks since the long wooden pieces that I have do not quite touch these blocks. So I needed to be able to glue the long wooden pieces to something. I'm placing this blue painter's tape around the wood just to keep it secure until it dries. All right, y'all, so I've been sitting for a little bit. Now I'm just removing the tape and now I'm gonna decorate the center with the square mirror tiles and also the rectangular mirror tiles as well. I'm placing two of these mirror tiles at the very bottom to cover up the visible glue. Okay, so on the base of the lamp, the right side has four rows of the mirror tiles and the other side has three rows of the mirror tiles. I actually added a, another row to the side with the three rows just to even it out. I glued this napkin ring to the top center of my lampshade off camera, and now I'm just continuing to work on decorating my lampshade. I purchased a couple of these LED Dollar Tree push lights and now I'm just placing the batteries inside making sure the lights actually work and then I'm going to put them in place before removing the adhesive backing. I used these push lights in a previous project that's why they look different from the other two. Y'all already know, once I removed all the adhesive backing, removed any excess glue strings, cleaned my mirrors off, then I had something that looked like this. I used about 15 boxes of the Tumbling Tower game blocks to build my new lamp and it is truly a one of a kind. I'm beyond amazed with how this turned out. But tell me what y'all think. Please like, comment, and share. And if you're curious to see what else I can create, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss my next video.